Yes. Come in. Come in, dear viewer. You say you're worried about malware? You think your PC might be infected? What are your symptoms? Your PC is slow, dysfunctional, and you get a lot of weird pop-ups? Hmm. Yes, yes, these are all telltale signs of malware. I'm glad you came in. This can get quite serious, but have no fear. Even the sneakiest malware can't hide from us. It's actually a lot easier than you think to get rid of malware. In this video, we'll be covering the five simple steps that you can take to remove malware from Windows 10 and guide you through the antivirus programs and tools that can help you. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can continue to keep your PC safe by not missing one of our awesome videos. Okay, first off, you might be wondering, what exactly is malware? It could be hard to tell whether you've been infected by malware, let alone what type when there's spyware, trojans, ransomware, and a myriad of others. But the good news is you don't need to know which is which because software will do that for you. Even so, there are plenty of telltale signs that can hint towards malware being on your system. Maybe you have slower than usual PC performance. Say your PC just isn't going at its usual speed, and not just because you've got 100 Chrome tabs open. It could be because malware is using processing speed. Maybe there's pop-ups or unusual error messages. These can range from the obvious, click here for free money, to more subtle errors that you might not have seen before. Or it could even be disabled antivirus protection. If you have AV and it's disabled, especially if it's disabling itself, it's potentially because a malware is telling it to. Sound like your system? Even if you don't have any of these signs, it is always worth making sure by running through our five-step process coming up. The first objective is to diagnose what is wrong with your system. No, this doesn't involve placing a stethoscope onto your computer and listening to its internals to see if it needs a hospital visit. You'd better tell the captain we've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. You just need to run some scans to check if you have malware in your computer. They're super easy, and we're going to show you exactly how you can diagnose your system. But first off, you actually need to install some anti-malware software that can run scans. So step one, install anti-malware software. We can highly recommend any of these four antivirus softwares. Norton Antivirus, Bitdefender, Malwarebytes, or Kaspersky. Today, we're going to show you the process of using just two, Norton and Bitdefender. Don't worry if you use a different one, the process is generally the same, so let's begin. Make sure that you always install from the official source. Never use a third-party website to install or update anti-malware software, because they could contain the exact malware that we're trying to avoid. Okay, now you've got the software, let's run some scans. Step two, running scans to diagnose. To run a scan, simply open up your software of choice. Let's see how we do it with Norton first. Open the main window and click Security, then Scans. Then select Quick Scan or Full System Scan and click Go. We would recommend doing a full system scan. Even though it will take a little bit longer, it is much more effective. For Bitdefender, open the application which brings up the Bitdefender window. Click System Scan and the process should start immediately. If you click where it says System Scan in Progress, you get a detailed breakdown of the scan's progress, and if you need to, you can stop the scan. It will show you how many files have been scanned and how many of those were infected. Once either of those scans are complete, it will alert you to any malware on your system. Now, before we look at the next step, make sure that you like and subscribe to this video for more great content. Step three, remove malware. The third main step is removing any malware on our system. Both Norton and Bitdefender will usually delete anything they find automatically, but will also present you with a report on what they found and the actions taken. In Norton, you can view these reports by going to Security, then History, showing you all the scans it has done. In Bitdefender, you can view recent results by going to the main page and clicking any scan in the list for more info. Some other antivirus softwares, such as Malwarebytes, are not automatic and will instead ask you to select the files you want to delete, or quarantine in this case, before any action is actually taken. Either way, the result is the same. The malware should now be gone. However, there are still some extra steps that we can take if we want to be even more cautious. Firstly, you can boot in safe mode and delete temporary files. Malware creators love to hide their software in temp files, so it's a good idea to give it a proper spring clean. To boot in safe mode, go to the Windows Start menu, press Shift, and click Restart PC. Then click Troubleshoot, 
advanced options, startup settings, then hit restart. Your system will now reboot in safe mode. Once booted, click start again and type disk cleanup. Click on that to open. Deselect everything except for temporary files and temporary internet files, so they are the only two selected. Click OK and confirm by clicking Delete Files. The second additional measure that you can take is to delete system restore points. To delete your system restore points, go back to Disk Cleanup. Click More Options. Under System Restore and Shadow Copies, click Cleanup and press Delete to confirm. Simple as that. Thirdly, you can reset browser settings. This can be useful to make sure there's nothing malicious that's embedded itself into your internet browser. To do this, go to your browser, find the settings, and under System, select Reset Settings. These don't delete your bookmarks, just temporary files and cookies. There's also a final nuclear option, Norton Power Eraser. If all else fails, this will eliminate any hard to find malware on your system. There is a risk legitimate programs will be marked for removal, but it's an aggressive nuclear option for a reason. To use it, open up Norton, click Security, Scans, then select Norton Power Eraser and click Go. Click OK, then click the big Scan for Risks button. Click Restart and Norton will begin its full rootkit scan that will dig deep into your system. Once complete, review the results and select which files you want to remove, then click Fix Now. Step the fourth. Check that your PC is malware free. Now we've removed the malware, we want to double check that our PC is malware free. So for this, we will simply repeat step one of this video. With Norton, open the main window and click Security, then Scans. Then select Quick Scan or Full System Scan and click Go. For Bitdefender, open up the application and click System Scan. If they come up all clear, perfect. Your computer should now be as clean as a whistle. Let's make sure it stays that way with the next step. Step 5. Ongoing protection. To keep your system free from malware, you need to keep it protected. Luckily, there are multiple ways that you can do this. Firstly, most antivirus software, including Norton, include active protection programs, which prevent malware from getting onto your system before it even has a chance to, stopping it at the source. Make sure your antivirus software is A, updated, and B, activated, so that the active protection runs in the background. If you have Norton running, click the icon in the toolbar and click Enable Auto Protect. If it says Disable Auto Protect, that means it's already working and you don't need to do anything. Secondly, it's a good idea to run regular scans. With Norton, you can schedule regular scans. To do this, open Norton, click Security, Scans, then Custom Scans, and go. In the row which says Full System Scan, click Edit Scan. Here it opens up a schedule creator. Select the interval you want, daily or weekly is fine, then select Run at Idle Time. This means it will run when you leave your desk for your lunch break or any other time that you go idle, so you don't suffer from slowdowns when you're working. Click Next and then Save. The scans will run in the background and automatically delete any threats. So we're going to leave you now with three key tips to keep yourself safe. 1. Keep your operating system up to date with regular updates and don't ignore it. 2. Keep your browser up to date and consider using an antivirus browser extension. 3. Avoid clicking any suspicious links or opening any email attachments that you weren't expecting to receive, even if it's from an address that you know. And there we have it. The patient is cured, the illness is gone, and the malware is no more. Breathe the free air. All it takes is those five key steps. Install software, diagnose with scan, remove malware, check it's gone, put ongoing protection in place. Once you've done that, you should never have to worry about malware again. If you enjoyed this video and this lab coat, then make sure you like and subscribe for more tech content. And check out the description below for all the links to the software we use today. See you next time.